seven things to stop doing in 2024 and beyond to get rich. This video, I'm gonna share with you the real secrets on some of the things that are killing your wealth. I am seeing this every single day. People are doing them and they are stopping themselves from getting rich. I'm gonna share with you the real secrets, what not to do, why you shouldn't do it, and how you actually can do it and get rich. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. So let's get right into it. I'm Noelle Randall. I'm a real estate multimillionaire, entrepreneur, mentor, speaker, author, mama five, and so much more. But the important part that you need to know is I started from bankruptcy, bad credit, no job, no money, living in my parents' basement. I was able to learn some things, start investing in myself, and today I'm the multimillionaire that you see sitting in front of you. So I'm gonna share with you some real things that I have learned along the way, and I can show you some real things that people are doing right now that was causing them to stay poor. Let me share these seven things with you because you could easily turn yourself around and start getting rich. Number one, working for others. I know, I know this sounds crazy because most of us have a job and this is how we sustain ourselves, this is how we pay bills, but this is not going to allow you to get rich. If you constantly work for someone else and you never create another stream of income for yourself, it's going to be very hard for you to get rich. If you have something that you can do that can create another stream of income for yourself, whether it be you owning a business or even you buying a business, you can actually start to multiply multiply and use your money to make money for yourself. Most people think that they have to work for others in order to make money and pay their bills, but this is simply not true. Let me explain. I started off by telling you I'm a multimillionaire, an entrepreneur. Well, guess what? Of course, I did not start off that way. I used to work for someone else. And in fact, I worked in corporate America for many years. I even worked in corporate America after I was a millionaire. Yeah crazy. I wasn't a millionaire where I had a million dollars, but I did have a million dollars in property. I had a portfolio of rental properties, but I was so afraid to quit my job and stop working, you know, for banks and working in the mortgage business because I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to make the money that I made at my job on my own. But that was completely not true, especially if you are a high earner. Think about this. If you work for someone else and they're paying you $100,000 a year, think about it. You're pretty valuable. Imagine if you gave those skills and talents and you created a business with your skills and your talent, you'd probably make 10 times that. Think about that. Your job is not paying you your full value. If, you, if they pay you $100,000, you're probably making them $400,000 or $500,000 doing the thing that you do. But I'm not saying that you're just going to quit your job because they're taking advantage of you and they've done something horrible to you. No, what I'm saying to you is you need to figure out how to take that skill set that you have that you're giving to someone else at their job and figure out a way to start a business doing that. We all have some skills, some talent, some value that we bring to the workplace that we could be bringing to our own business. Additionally, when we work for another person's company and we work just for them, they of course have taken a risk, which is why you probably work for them. Maybe you don't want to take the risk. Well, guess what? No risk, no reward. So if you go out on your own and you're able to do this, you may be able to get clients that will pay you what your job pays you all year. You probably could get paid from one or two clients. Trust me, this is what I did. I actually quit a six figure job job in the first year that I quit, I made $400,000 per year. So I quit a job where I was making $225,000 per year. And the first year of working by myself in my real estate business, I made over $400,000. And then the second year I made over a million. The reason why is because now I had the time to work on my business. When you work for someone else's company and you're going to that office and you're, you know, giving them 40 hours a week, well, guess what? They are getting most of your time, your effort and your talent. And so if you have a side gig or a side hustle, you're giving it a little bit. 
But imagine if you replace all of that time and you just worked on your own business for all of those hours, you would probably make a lot more money. I've seen it done over and over and over again. So we have to get out of the habit of working for someone else and not taking a risk of working for ourselves. You can do it, especially if someone is paying you a lot of money to do something, you have to realize you are very, very valuable. Number two, politics. Forget about politics. So many people want to get rich, but I see them watching CNN and NBC and Fox News all the time. And they know what Senator XYZ and said and what the president, blah, blah, blah. And again, not that you can't be tapped in and know a little bit about politics, but most likely you are not making any money doing it. So many times, and there's been so many people that I've talked to that are billionaires, they have no idea about politics, nor do they care. If anything, they use their money to influence politics for the industry that they're in. So again, if once you get wealthy, you're making over $10 million per year and you have that net worth, then you probably will get back into politics and see if you can start lobbying and start uh, going to these dinners that cost $1,000 per plate and things like that. I've actually been to a political dinner where it was $5,000 per plate. Well, guess what? I never went there when I was poor, broke, living in my parents' basement. I didn't go there until I was a multi millionaire so why if you are not a millionaire would you be focused on politics most likely it's a waste of your time and again I say this with all love and again if you have anything any comments about that chat with me I want to hear it but again take it from someone that was broke bankrupt bad credit no money living in a basement who used to watch tv and politics all the time when i was broke i could tell you what rachel maddow said i could tell you what wolf blitzer said i could tell you all of these different things because i would literally wake up in the morning and start watching those things and those things are not going to help you earn money most likely it's a waste of time but again let's have a conversation i'd love to see what you have to say about that in the chat box comment below let me know and let's get in a conversation about it but i'm telling you most likely politics is a waste of your time number three gossip i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because you already probably know that gossiping is just a waste of your time and it is not going to help you get rich literally there is a book that i read a few years ago that really spelled this out and why this is such a bad thing but my mentor when I was living in my parents basement I got a mentor I paid for a coach and he gave me some of the best advice about how to start changing my mindset and one of the major things that he told me was you have to stop gossiping meaning you have to stop talking about other people it has no benefit to your life and most likely it is a waste of time there is a book called choose yourself by James Oshler hopefully I'm pronouncing his name properly I'll put it right here now again I read this book very many years ago and it's a book that I I recommend to so many people because he outlines like 25 things that you need to stop doing and he is spot on but one of the things that I have found so valuable and that so many millionaires and billionaires have taught me and told me is gossip it's a waste of time it's not beneficial you're talking about other people and in fact you're actually just talking about yourself I know you think that you're gossiping and saying negative things and negative judgments about other people but the person who really hears you is you and so you're making all of these judgments and judging everything that they do and in fact that's the same way that you talk to yourself and that is why it is so detrimental and that is why you need to stop that immediately if you want to get rich number four no TV, no social media. You got to stop watching TV. One of the reasons why TV is such a negative thing is not necessarily about the show itself, but it's about the different ads. And that's the same thing that applies for social media, why I, which is why I put them two together. Because many times we don't even watch TV anymore. We watch TV on YouTube. You're probably watching this on YouTube or we watch clips of it on TikTok. Maybe you're watching this on TikTok or maybe you're on social media watching a clip of this from Instagram or et cetera, et cetera. And I literally say this as an influence or someone that has a million you know subscribers and followers and friends to let you know unequivocally I do not consume social media the same way that a poor person does per se 
I use social media to advertise myself, my business, and what I'm doing. I very rarely post pictures of my kids, my families, what I'm eating, and things like that, because again, that is a waste of time, and that does not earn me income. Additionally, watching television is basically just watching millionaires live their dream. In fact, if you're watching this, I love you to death. I want you to subscribe to my channel. Please take a moment right now and click that button and subscribe, but let me be 100% honest with you. I am a millionaire and you are watching me live my dream. So do you want to continue doing this over and over and over again? Or do you want to start doing something different? That's the key. Number five, wasting cash. If you want to get out of poverty, out of being poor, out of the, the paycheck to paycheck or direct a deposit to direct deposit cycle, you need to stop wasting your cash and start investing your disposable income in yourself and in other things that can make you money. Wasting money, always going eating out or wasting money, getting your hair done or your nails or video games or the things that we waste money is, is quite all right once you have lots of money. But if you are in a position where you say, I am changing my situation, I am getting out of this basement. You you know, that was what I was saying to myself. I am never going to be in this situation again. Well, guess what? I have to start using my cash to start making money. Either it's by going to classes, conferences, seminars, you know, the things that Noelle Randall did to learn and get knowledgeable so that I could make money. That is what I did with my disposable cash. Instead of spending money on those things, I would go do free things for entertainment. Take my kids to the park, take them for a walk, just spend time with them, read them a book. I didn't need to spend money to give my kids and my family and my husband quality time and then I could use my money that I earn to invest in classes conferences coaches mentors courses um, invest in businesses buy stocks again start using your cash differently if you want to stop being poor number six complaining Complaining is another one I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on, but I can tell you unequivocally, you have to stop complaining. So many people do not realize when you are complaining, just like gossiping, the person that hears you the most is you. So you're complaining, oh, it's hot. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, blah, blah, blah. and you're just whining and complaining all the time that becomes your programming that becomes a part of your personality so as you want to become a rich person someone that is not just rich with money but rich in happiness rich in joy rich in you know the belief system that you have you have to start changing how you speak so like gossip is such a negative thing because you're speaking about other people but yourself hears you the same thing about complaining you're just saying negative things and your mindset becomes very negative so when you start to even hear yourself complaining I don't care if it's about traffic I don't care if it's about it's cold in this room I don't care if it's about oh I hate when this doesn't work stop yourself from doing that there's nothing in complaining you literally can just focus on the good so if it's very cold in the room instead of complaining oh I hate it it's so cold in here say oh I'm so happy I have a jacket simple things like that it works Number seven, and this is the best one, okay? This is the absolute best one because this is the thing that you could stop immediately, making excuses. Ah, so many people will come to me, Noel, can you mentor me? Can you coach me? Can I partner with you? And then they start making excuses immediately, like literally immediately about why they can't do it. They have kids, they have a mortgage, they have X, Y, and Z. And all of those excuses are holding you back. You cannot just make excuses and expect to have a different outcome. You have to start looking for reasons to say yes, reasons to believe in yourself, and you have to stop making excuses or blaming other people. These are like one in the same. You can't say, oh, my husband won't let me, or my wife would never do this, or my girlfriend said blah, blah, blah. Again, you're just making an excuse and you're blaming it on someone else. But guess what? You only have one life. It's just you. So if you have someone in your life that doesn't support what you're doing, most likely it's because of you. Maybe you always start stuff and stop. Maybe you're always saying you're going to do something and you will never do it. So they don't believe in you. So again, it's not necessarily about them. 
It's about you. So start thinking about what you want. Stop making excuses and stop using other people as an excuse for why you can't have the life or the thing that you want. We are all put on this earth to be and do and have whatever it is that we wanted and it is possible for you. Trust me, I used to be broke, bankrupt, living in a basement and now today I drive a Lamborghini and live in a mansion. It's possible. So one of the amazing things that you can do to start changing your life immediately is become a reader. Knowledge is power, especially when it is consumed. So I'm going to give you four books that you can get absolutely free before they're sold out and you just cover the shipping. Go to noellesbookoffer.com right now and get all four of my books shipped to you. You get these books for free. You just cover the shipping. These four books will help you start a business. It will help you invest in real estate starting from zero. Literally, my book, Real Estate Millionaire Secrets, is an Amazon bestseller and I'm selling hundreds of thousands of copies. Literally, this book shares all of the secrets that I use to invest in real estate with bad credit, no money, and not even having a job. You can get not only that book, but my book, Business Millionaire Secrets. You can get Toro Millionaire Secrets and you can get BNB Millionaire Secrets all four of these books ship to you you just cover the shipping you don't have to pay for the book that's noellesbookoffer.com go there right now supplies are limited and we are almost sold out go there now so we can ship these to you immediately that's noellesbookoffer.com that's noelle n-o-e-l-l-e -L -L -E with an s book b-o-o-k offer o-f-f-e-r dot com go right now because i just want to make sure that you have all of the knowledge all of the resources and all of the tools that you need to be successful this is noelle to your success